September's Ink is the inspiring Do Earth, a handbook for healing humankind from Tamsin Omond, one of the founders of Extinction Rebellion. As they look beyond axiomism, Tamsin invokes a powerful call to arms. To heal, it's not enough to fight. We need to be enchanted by the earth again. For us outdoor folk, prone to wandering around in strange environments like this, contributing our connection in support of this struggle is perhaps the most important thing we can do in these important times. This book will show us how. Now then, Do Earth from Tamsin Almond by the, uh, by the venerable stable of the Do Book Company, or as they prefer to be known as, Do Books. Um, slightly different this month. Um, as I said in the introduction, it's really, I think it's such an important time that everyone needs to make their contribution. And um, so I think Tamsin gives us a really good indication of what, of what that contribution is and how we can go about um, healing the planet and, and, and humankind as they reflect. Um, but this is a, a story of a journey, really. So it's Tamsin's journey away from being, I guess what I wouldn't mind being called an angry activist, to someone who re understands that it's going to take everyone to make the change that, that we need to see. As we approach planet boundaries that should not be passed, like the melting of the Arctic or the burning of the Amazon, we need much more than the activity of environmentalists to turn our ship round. Now, we need everyone. I love this bit as well. Kind of fits with everything that I've, I've come to understand, both before doing this um, and, uh, and while reading all these books as well. So it's called Old Excuses for Dominating the World. We need to be able to interrogate our relationships and ask whether the patterns of behaviour in terms of how we treat ourselves, each other and the planet, are healing us or doing us harm. To help us consider these questions, there are three big ideas we need to become comfortable talking about. They're words that describe how people in Western culture relate to each other and to the planet. They're useful words because they bring into light some of the harmful assumptions behind our current way of doing things. Patriarchy, white supremacy and capitalism are three assumptions about how things should be that have defined our white and Western culture. They're assumptions that have been created and fused throughout our society by those who hold the power. Under these assumptions we accept it as unfortunate but inevitable that humans will treat each other and the planet in oppressive and destructive ways. If we're to heal the earth, ourselves and each other, we need to find strategies to acknowledge and transform these assumptions. Over the course of this book, I'll share with you some strategies I've learned, Tamsin's learned, to shift my experience and my perspective on these belief systems. Wherever you are on this journey, I want to travel some of the road by your side. I want to imagine how it will feel when we l let go of fear about our place in the hierarchies and instead relate to each other with abundance, resourcefulness, service, collaboration and trust. In the world that's coming, we'll need greater resilience. I'll offer strategies to kindle your empathy and encourage your optimism, regardless of what the changing climate brings. More and more of us are committing to protect the planet. But to show up to that work without it taking an enormous toll on our spirits and bodies, we're going to need to foster a culture of compassion, patience and rest. Our aim is to develop relationships with the earth that heal and nurture more than they harm and extract. It's not going to be easy. There's so much we need to unlearn if we're to relax and let the world support us. None of us want to be responsible for a world in ruin. And right now, that doesn't have to be our legacy. We're an adaptive, resilient and constantly changing species on a constantly changing, regenerating world. It's a big moment to be alive right now. Because more than ever, everything we do really counts. 
It may be 10 minutes to midnight, but that means we're now six hours away from dawn. And that's a hopeful thought, because we are adaptive and resilient, um, and we're going to need to be. Um, and it's strategies like, like Tams and Outlines in here that are going to help us. So, um, so that's why I chose it for our book in September. I hope you enjoy. Right. Oi. Those legs. <laughs>